Sorry, coming through, gangway. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't worry, Mary. I'll talk to Don tomorrow. Good, let it be Don's headache. All right. Now, you listen to me, Don. You're a cop, you have connections. Can you please get us a room in that prison? I know, Sally. We're trapped. What can I do? Sell your share to Dick. It's all his fault anyway. I'll do it. Okay. Hey, are you getting frisky? No, why? <laughs> Behind every great man is a great woman? And you're mine, sweetie. But Don, what have I ever done for you? I wear antiperspirant now. <laughs> now, well, that's true, but it's not enough. Don, I've let you down. I haven't thrust greatness upon you. Sally, you aren't ashamed of me, are you? Oh, sweetie, no. I love you just the way you are. And to prove it, <laughs> I'm gonna tear you down to the studs and rebuild you into the powerhouse you've never dreamed of being. Oh. Sally, what's going on here? Oh, I am throwing you a power brush. That's nice. What's the occasion? Well, I'm going to turn you into a success instead of a failure. I am not. <laughs> hey, this jacket's got my name on it. I invited everyone from the top 10 list along with some other very important Rutherfordites. This is Mrs. Dupchek. She owns quite a bit of property in the Rutherford area. I know her. She's your landlady. Excellent. You keep networking. Hey, Sally, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm not in the same league as these big guys. Don. That may have been true of you before, but you've got Sally on the case now. Just think of me as the wind beneath your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, it's number six, Gus DeMarmel, president and CEO of DeMarmel Lunch Meat. Ooh, that's good meat. <laughs> the toaster, it may, may be platinum. Tommy, you are getting so big. What are they feeding you? Um, fruits, vegetables, milk. Oh, college. <laughs> you know, Tom, Tommy, I think you might actually be taller than Harry now. Could be. Shorty. I don't like that nickname! Oh, I'm sorry, little man. Stop it! <laughs> okay, first off, there are no rare metals in this toaster. <laughs> Second, we will be enjoying our Pop-Tarts raw for some time to come. Why don't you just go in on the timeshare with someone? Share the timeshare? Sally, that's brilliant! We just need to find someone smart enough to recognize a great deal when it drops into his lap. Yeah. Someone smart. Been in my school lately? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, I was. I was there. Um, I broke up with Alyssa for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? She was going to dump you first. I didn't want to see my baby get hurt. Ba hmm. I am not your baby. I'm older than all of you, and it's time you start treating me that way. OK, well, now I know why Alyssa was going to dump you. You are very moody. I got lady. Order me around in front of your father, but just you wait till daddy's gone. I'm going to give you the wedgie of a lifetime. <laughs> I brought you a little something for uh, after the meal. Oh, thanks. People's Exhibit B? <laughs> it came from a bakery we raided that was a front for a drug dealer. <laughs> you might want to scrape off the powdered sugar before you serve it. <laughs> we may dick the high commander because you're the best security officer there is. Damn right I am. I mean, who else but me would be able to figure out that Vicky is under the bleachers right now preparing to vaporize Janice? Mm. <laughs> See? Yeah, you're a natural. I wish I was smart enough to figure out that Vicky's down there trying to kill Janice. Well, you're not smart enough, my friend. Yep, I wish I was. I know you do, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! Excuse me, pardon me! Excuse me! Who's gonna stop me? Me? And this, this big unicorn ice cube. <laughs> you melted my unicorn, you bitch! Yeah, and you know what? You're next! So fast. I am your queen. 
queen, and you will bow to me. Lower. Yes, sir. Sorry, masters. Lower. I can't. Lower. Go ahead. 